also a large percentage of my viewers who watch my video isn't subscribed to me so if you're one of them please subscribe if you want to code this stick around to the end to find out how to code this anyways enjoy the video so to make the fps game you would want to get a dummy let's say we we'll want a block if you don't know how to get a dummy you just need an r6 dummy you could go to toolbox and search r6 and then you should find an r6 dummy then you, uh, make sure there's no viruses in them otherwise they would poison your game and do bad things so uh, now since we got a dummy we want to rip off its arm so open the dummy and select both of its arms and yeah rip off let's rip it off drag it into workspace delete the dummy and make sure your increment is uh, 0 0.5 We want to be facing at the front. That's what we want. If you don't know how to do that, you can click on Views and View Selector, and you'll be facing at the front. So this is the front right arm. Let's let's put that in the middle. It must be 0 0.5, so you can put it in the mi middle properly. Oh, whoops. We're gonna have to name this. Humanoid root part and make sure this is a cube so we want it a one by one by one cube. Scroll down to size and you'll see. Now we're going to rotate this. We rotated it 90 degrees. Okay, there. So it should look like this. Now you want to. Now you want to make it up. We can't just leave it like this, so we have to do it five blocks long. Five blocks long. So it's a four. Now it's five. Do the same for the other arm. And let's also put this in the middle. There's the middle. And we're gonna name this the camera. Camera. So now you're going to select all. Make sure they are not collidable. Humanoid root part must be anchored this now you want to control G and since we're gonna rig this we're going to let's name it arms and we're not going to set the primary part to human root part we're setting it to camera so now you want to, now you want to add animation controller animation animation controller and let's rig this this is the rig editor so you're gonna rig this so now we know this is our humanoid root part so we're gonna click here to the arm click this again on the arm and you'll see these dots. Don't worry, we're not going to change anything to them. Done. We're done here. And I do... Do mind that I'll keep this too. Okay. Now we're going to weld the camera to the humanoid root part. So go to home. Click on. You will see this. I'm in mod. Well, to click on that, click on human and root part, and click on camera. Now let's
let's make sure our camera and your notebook part is invisible. So set the transparency to 1. And then let's make this also a skin color so it looks more natural. Now we're going to drag it into replicated parts. Now we're going to click, go into start a GUI, click on local script, and we're going to make some variables. First variable is the camera. So game dot workspace dot current camera. It's not this camera, it's the current camera. Local run service. Because we're gonna be using a function from run service. So game get service run service local arms equal game dot replicated first dot arms we're getting the arms from here the, the arms where we got it is from the arms that we just dragged into replicated first now we want to clone it so everyone can get their own And now we're going to use the render step function. So render step. So run service dot render step connect. And we're gonna write in function. And then another open and close brackets. And then we're going to go arms, colon, what is it called? So, set my Mary part C frame camera dot C frame. So we're getting the C frame from the camera. And then we're setting the arm's primary part to the camera. But also it would not look right, so we want to at least times it by C frame dot new 0, 0.0 no negative two done. Also under this, we're going to set the arms parent to, to equal to camera. Now, if we play, we should be able to see our arms. But it looks like it's too short, so what we're going to do is click on stop. Let's drag the arms back to workspace. And we're going to see the camera. Let's make this visible again. So let's move the camera a bit back. That should be perfect. Put it back to replicated first. Turn the camera and our human root part to invisible again. And we can do, we can test one more time. Uh oh, an error. Okay, I found the error. The error is the camera is not facing correctly. So if we go to decal, we can, if we click on decal and set it to front, 
we can see that the camera is facing backwards. So we need to rotate this by 90 degrees. And now if we check the decal, the decal should be facing correctly. And then if we uh, move this back, it should be working. So now we can turn the camera invisible. Now it should be working. Now you can see we we can see our arms. This is actually not our arms right here, but you get the point. So uh, let's also add like a walk animation to this. I'll make an animation real real quick for this. See you soon. Now if we scroll down. Let's add something to the local script. Let's go. Let's add an animation and Control V to paste the animation. And let's name the animation more, yeah. so we won't get confused if if we add more animations. Now we're going to make another variable. Let's add user input service variable, use UIS, and game, get service, user input service, now, user input service, dot input began, connect, function, in put, we're going to add these arguments here, and game process event if input dot key code equals, oh wait, no, no, no. So, we're going to add this walk animation, so what we're going to do is make a few, we know that WASD keys are walk keys, so enum dot, we're going to make enum dot key code dot W, then then we'll put or we can control C this entire thing. Then control V. Let's turn this A because this is one about WASD. Or S or D. Then so we write out all this. But we could have wrote this more variables like this local w key equals enum dot key code dot w but we're not doing this we're doing the wrong way so that's all right uh, it's all right that that's too confusing that's why. so now once we did that we're going to make another variable is a walk variable equals arms dot animation controller let's make sure we spelled that correctly yes we did now colon load animation script which is the local script we made and the walk right here we're making that walk script on walk also if you haven't realized that 
like capitals and lowercase do matter in code. So now what we're going to do is we made our walk variable. We should have called the walk anim so we know it's our animation. Then we're going to play. Now let's copy this entire line again. Control C and Control V. Instead of input began, we're going to put an input ended. And instead of play, we're going to change it to stop. Now, if we try testing it, If we press W, we should be playing our arms. Our arms should be waving around and walking. Let go. Should stop. So that's how you make uh, FPS arms in your Roblox game. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to make a part two on like maybe even more things about this. But uh, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and enjoy the video, I mean, 